Hello, everyone. I just wanted to beam in today because I really felt the presence of the beautiful goddess Caridwen really wanting to come through for all of you. So I think we're going to do like a beautiful activation with Caridwen. And the, the theme that's really been coming through is magical transformation, which if you've been like getting my emails, you know, I've been talking about that more recently. And, you know, I think that for me, that is one of the one of the great secrets that Caridwen possesses. And uh, so when Caridwen like shows up, like, you know, she always has, she has the cauldron, which really is the cauldron of inspiration. And um, from Caridwen's cauldron, we get Awen, which is, you know, the magical elixir of divine inspiration. Um, you know, this is a very famous legend specifically um, told through like the Welsh bardic lineage. Um, but also Caridwen's cauldron is so much more. It really is, you know, a beautiful vessel for like alchemy of the soul alchemy of the soul enchantment magic and specifically when i think of the cauldron when we talk about alchemy it really is magical transformation it really is the shifting of i always think about it as like turning lead into gold but like for for us in this case it really is what part of you um, are you willing to surrender um, to the cauldron? Like, I think that's usually what Caridwen asks when we approach Caridwen, because she is a very fearsome goddess. There are a lot of different goddesses that like when you connect with them, it's very sweet and loving and gentle. And Caridwen is is the opposite. Caridwen is very much, she is, you know, she is, um, I want to say fierce, but not in the way of more of a wild goddess. She is fierce in the way that she demands the highest version of you. She demands the highest version and nothing less. And so I love that because really when we work with Caridwen, we are always brought into the highest version of ourselves. And I really feel like like kind of the, the metaphor that's coming through for me right now is really that diamond in the rock. And so we might have that diamond in the rough and Caridwin works with us to bring us into a state of excellence, true excellence, so that we can shine like the diamond that we were born to be. And so that really is the power of Caridwin's cauldron, her magical, you know, cauldron of transformation, because she's really wanting you to turn from those like base, you know, those base elements, like those base metals, like, you know, which represents, you know, the parts of you that. I really do feel like part of us being here, you know, in human form is the journey toward awakening. And so we have to wake up from like the conditioning um, that has kind of kept us small in the past. And Karen wants us to step into the magic that is our truth, the magic that is our birthright. And so I think we're going to do a beautiful activation with Karen Dwin and the cauldron. I just know that like, I just feel her energy just really fresh. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm wondering if there's anything else that I should say about Caridwin right now. Uh, for those of you, you know, who aren't as familiar, I tell this story, uh, I'm going to link, you know, at, in the bottom of this video, there will be a link to an interview I did where I actually tell Caridwin's story in greater detail for those of you who are more curious. But the the most important part of the legend really is that Caridwin is the most renowned enchantress in all of Wales, and she brews a mighty potion. And so here in this moment, we're actually going to have you brew a mighty potion but really this is your potion for magical transformation and so this is really a moment of deep visioning a moment where you get to think about the person that you are becoming and Caridwin really invites us to step into the most limitless version of ourselves so before we get started with the activation I really invite you to just take a moment and just see what comes to mind is there a part of you that is really, you know, ready to be surrendered to the cauldron of transformation? Is there a part of you that you know is ready for change? And that usually the first thing that comes to mind, you know, that's, that's the right one because the goddess has put it there for you. But I'm also now going to invite you to just think really quickly, what would a different, like, you know, the, the version of you that has shifted into that limitless reality, that magical possibility. So see this thing fully transformed in the most magical way. What would that look like? 
And uh, just, you know, take a moment to really feel into the energy of that, the frequency of that, because I can already feel carried with stirring her cauldron, <laughs> you know, bringing that to fruition, bringing that into being. Um, so without further ado, I'm actually going to just like cast a sacred circle and call carried one in, and then we'll get started with the activation. Um, so I cast a circle to create a space beyond space and time beyond time for me and everyone listening to this video. I cast a circle to block out all energies and spirits that are not allies of ours. I cast the circle that all energies raised herein remain confined. As above, so below, as within, so without, the circle is sealed. Beautiful. And in the sacred space, I call the great goddess Caridwin, goddess of excellence, goddess of excellence, inspiration, and divine magical transformation. Please come into this space. I know if you can feel Karen when she has a mighty energy and she also has a very kind of glorious, almost like it reminds me of being outside in the moonlight at midnight, that kind of energy where it's like the earth is still. And yet there is the presence of just like something mysterious, like that the heart of mystery really carried when brings us into the heart of mystery. And uh, I can just say, um, you know, there are different times, you know, I've had a, you know, a long relationship with Carrie Dwin at this point. And when I was first connecting with her, I realized I was kind of afraid. I was like, oh no. And like, and I was like kind of going into meditation and I felt her kind of saying like, do some writing. Why are you afraid to connect with me? And I didn't really know why, because I, I, on the one hand, you know, I had worked with so many different goddesses. But when I really sat there and I went in with Caridwin, I realized that to me, she was working with Caridwin really is opening to the heart of mystery. And there's a part of me that was resisting that great unknown, but in that great unknown is unlimited possibility is, you know, that is kind of the emptiness that, you know, makes up all of creation. It is the emptiness that makes all form, all existence possible. So when we work with carriage, when we really are working with, you know, it really is the force of creation itself. And that's where we can have magical transformation because we step into that moment of being magical creators, creatrixes, because we are moving, you know, we are really working with these, uh, these elemental forces. And um, so before we get started now, I just, I just really wanting you to just feel if it feels any different, inviting carriage when officially into this space. And uh, I also want to just call in where it's going to bring in the elements, earth, air, fire, water. Um, I also like to call in ether and starlight. And I want to call in the directions, north, south, east, west, above, below, and within. Into the sacred space, we also call in any high level guides and team, uh, especially uh, from the Welsh Celtic tradition who wish to be with us in this holy sacred space to facilitate magical transformation. Ooh, and so I'm just really just like inviting you to take a moment to call in any great beings that you usually work with. And now we're going to have a beautiful meeting with Caridwin and we're going to work with the magic of her cauldron. So I invite you to just like take a couple of deep breaths close your eyes, really come into presence, come into stillness in your body. And now I invite you to see yourself moving through time and space to a mysterious lake in the heart of ancient Wales. This is Lake Bala. Many people consider the birthplace, the homeland of Caridwen herself. And this is a mighty lake. And here, like you can really listen to the ripple and the currents of the water. And in the middle of this beautiful stream, you see a figure walking towards you, walking on the water itself. The long dark hood and a beautiful elegant cloak. This figure moves towards you with grace and precision. Every step she takes, you feel your heart almost chill and you realize that all around you, the air is cold. For this is almost a, it is a glen that is little bits of snow on the horizon. And yet Caridwen looks at you 
And in this cold, in this cold, there's something in you that feels refreshed, reborn. And you see your breath in the air as this goddess continues to walk towards you. All at once, she moves in front of you and she takes down her hood so you have the chance to see into her glorious and beautiful eyes. Her skin is weathered, her hair just a little bit gray, but it seems to hold an otherworldly light. And her eyes seem to possess all of the wisdom of the unknown, all of the mystery of the other world. Carrie reaches out and takes your hand. You clasp it with trembling fingers. This is a moment, if you have not met Caridwin before, to really introduce yourself to this goddess. Or if you have met her before, this is a moment to really just show up again, tell her why you are here today, what you are seeking. Here in this moment, our intention is for magical transformation. Make this intention known to her, open fully to receive the blessing of Caridwin enchantress, goddess of divine magic and inspiration. And now that you have made your intention known, the great goddess moves her hands through the air and a mighty cauldron appears. It appears from the ether and you see it such a huge, magnificent cauldron. This is not a small cauldron that one would make, you know, one would make a small dinner. This is a cauldron of epic enchantment. This is a cauldron for brewing mighty potions. And you really see it's almost as big as you are. And this cauldron forms over the water. And as the cauldron is forming, so too is there a beautiful, uh, beautiful wooden plank that forms beneath it. A wooden plank and also a glorious fire a glorious fire warming this mighty dark black and silver cauldron. All at once, all these elements assemble and you feel the beautiful, beautiful Arctic, Arctic winter air suddenly become even more chill as you lean into the fire and there at the beautiful, beautiful fire, you feel yourself come alive. Caridwin reaches down to you and brings you up level with the cauldron. The two of you stand there on this wooden plank in the middle of Lake Bala. And you see Caridwin appear with a huge wooden spoon. And she starts to stir this mighty cauldron. You look inside the cauldron. And inside you see this person, this person you have been for such a long time. And you take a moment to really just feel gratitude and love for the person that you have been, for all that you have done and known and experienced and all of the beauty that you are. Caridwin moves the wooden spoon and then you are granted another vision. And in this cauldron, you see this is the you you are becoming, the you of limitless possibility, the you which has experienced magical transformation. And as you continue to look into the pool, look into this beautiful cauldron and really just see, see this person there before you. What are they wearing? Do they have uh, a different look in their eyes? Maybe there's a look of whimsy or wonder in their eyes. And really this magical transformation, it's not so much about how you're changing your outer reality, though it could be, but it's how you are stepping into a version of you that is fully alive with magic fully alive with magic, feeling magic in every cell of your body, experiencing magic in every area of your life. And really, what would that look like? Experiencing more magic in your relationships. What would that look like? Experiencing more magic in your home. Would you 
decorate it differently? Would you bring in new plants? How would it be to have more magic in your kitchen? I just take a moment to see all the possibility of you stepping into your next level of magic. How would it impact if you have creative projects? How would it impact your writing, your stories, your art? Really just open fully to this version of you that experiences magic on all levels of your being. And as you're considering this, as you're feeling into this, all of a sudden there is this beautiful bubbling of the cauldron. Caridwin keeps stirring it and it seems to bubble bigger and bigger and bigger until at last there is a beautiful golden light that pours from the cauldron high into the heavens. And you look around you, you see the beautiful frigid air of Lake Bala with the beautiful um, snow and ice in the distance and the beautiful cauldron that is just bubbling up and there in the sky it's pure light. And this is the magic of Caridwin's Cauldron. This is the magic of ages. And just open your heart, your soul fully to just witness this and really cast this divine intention, cast your intention into the cauldron. Intend for your most magical transformation. Intend for this magic to fill you up from the inside. And as you're intending that, all of a sudden that beautiful golden beam of light that was pointed up to the heavens toward the Godhead, all of a sudden that light suddenly dissipates, disappears. And golden raindrops start to pour down from the sky, pouring onto you. This is the rain of transformation, the rain of magical transformation from the potion, from the cauldron of Caridwin herself. And as the rain, this golden rain is pouring down at you, just see Caridwin there behind the cauldron with her arms raised in triumph. And she utters the most beautiful, most joyful cackle of joy, of pure joy, seeing the magic pour through the sky, seeing the magic rain down onto you and her. And then she takes your hands again. Now you see the other side of Caridwin, not just the fierce, fierce enchantress, but one who is warm, one who delights in the excellence of the most high level magic. One who delights in your experiencing the highest version of who you are here to become, who you are here to be. She delights in your experience of excellence she delights in your experience of magic. And really just like open your heart and soul to the excellence of your soul. What does excellence mean to you? Beautiful. And now Caridwen once more invites you to take her hands and she leads you down from this beautiful plank that the cauldron was standing upon. She leads you into the water where before Caridwen stood on the water. Now her feet move all the way down to the bottom of the sea. It's not very deep, it's pretty shallow, but she invites you to walk with her. And the two of you walk hands in hand into the waters of Lake Bala. This is Caridwin's home. So the waters themselves are waters of pure enchantment. And as you are walking with Caridwin, you just see, you know, the beautiful, you know, the, there's Arctic breeze all around you and you see things moving in the breeze. But there before you, there's something magical that starts to happen with the air. You see almost little prisms of light dancing hither and thither. And all before you, you start to see forming this beautiful Aurora Borealis. It starts to come in beautiful hues of orange and pink and sapphire. And this really is the energy of pure enchantment. She invites you to just look up into this Aurora Borealis 
and receive a special healing transmission to bring more enchantment into your world. Recognize that enchantment is a natural part of the world itself. And really just see this Aurora Borealis, really feel it beaming its light down to you and just really receive this transmission of sacred enchantment from Caridwin, but also just from nature itself. Realizing that nature is a vehicle of enchantment. Nature is by its very, its very nature, it is enchanted. And there is no fixture that shows this more than the Aurora Borealis. Really just take a moment to see this, witness this in your heart. As you're looking up at the sky, feel the explosion of wonder, this experience of awe take over your heart and just fully surrender to this experience of awe and wonder and beauty as you behold the sky. Caridwin takes your hand again and she raises it to the heavens and says, you, you are part of this beauty. You are part of this enchantment. Know this forevermore in your heart. And as you are raising your arms to the sky with Caridwin, all of a sudden there is a beautiful light that beams down from the Aurora Borealis. It is all different colors, almost like a prism of all different rainbow colors. And this beautiful prism of rainbow color, it moves through the air, swirling with diamond-like iridescence, and it pools into your heart really just open now to receive a heart upgrade, a frequency upgrade from the magical energies of enchantment. And again, this is the enchantment of creation, the enchantment that belongs to nature, the enchantment that is an intrinsic part of creation itself. And really feel the swirling into your heart. There's a vortex of energy swirling into your heart. Pure enchantment open fully to receive this this magical blessing and as you are looking looking at this beautiful aurora borealis all of a sudden in the distance you see the twinkling of lights in the sky stars have somehow found their way out even with the beautiful aurora borealis and see these stars beaming down and as they beam their light down at you once more feel the magnificence of the earth, the sky, and these stars also offer you a blessing, bringing you back into the wonder of all of creation. And it's through this wonder, this awe, this beauty, that you remember the truth of that which you are. You remember yourself as a magical being. You remember the wonder at the heart of creation. You remember that wonder is the point, wonder, awe, this is the greatest experience of life. And now, once more, the cauldron suddenly appears before you in the beautiful, beautiful light of the Aurora Borealis. All of a sudden it pools down into the cauldron. And once more you look down to see this image of yourself. This is the image of you, the one, the version of you that has undergone magical transformation. And then something extraordinary happens. From this cauldron, you see this version of you fully alive with magical transformation actually start to form. You see there's a beautiful, beautiful swirl of energy around the cauldron and a figure starts to emerge from the cauldron. You see this figure emerging out of the ether. All of a sudden, the figure steps, steps out of the cauldron and takes shape. This is you. This is the you that has undergone magical transformation and received the great blessings of the Aurora Borealis, the great being of wonder that is you and you realize that you are this truly magical being 
And in this moment, I invite you to just really open your heart and soul to this version of you that is pure magic, pure wonder, pure enchantment. Feel what it feels like to behold this version of you. And now I feel safe to do so. This version of you comes over to embrace you. If it feels good, open your heart to merge with this truly magical version of you and receive all of the wisdom, all of the magic that your soul has been waiting to bless and bestow upon you. This is a great being birthed, birthed from the heart of Karen Wynn's cauldron, birthed from the heart of mystery and magic. And just really feel as you embrace that version of you and you merge and become one, you can see that there's just beautiful golden sparks of light around you, pure magic, sparks of pure magic forming around you. It's almost like little fireworks of light little fireworks of joy and light and bliss and wonder. And just take a moment to breathe here, to breathe in this energy of this new version of you who has undergone magical transformation, who has opened your heart and soul to the enchantment of the universe. And there in the distance in the sky, you also see a beautiful being, a horse flying through the sky with gorgeous, beautiful wings. This is a mighty Pegasus. And the Pegasus flies through the air, comes before you and Caridwen, and lands beside you. Caridwen takes your hand and leads you over to this mighty creature. Feel the, the beautiful, loving energies of this creature. You also notice that it has a horn. It is a special creature, both unicorn and pegasus. And just really open, open heart, mind, body, and soul to the experience of being with this creature. As you move toward the creature, you actually put a hand on that horn and a whole other energy of enchantment pours through you. This is unicorn magic, unicorn enchantment. And it's really just opening your heart, opening your heart once more to the deepest level enchantment that exists. And uh, you can see from the unicorn that you're invited to get on its back. And you take a look at Caridwen, who is smiling. And she moves over to this beautiful Pegasus and she says, fly high, fly far, far high into the sky. The unicorn whinnies and you take a moment to just really feel the majesty of this moment. You look once more at Lake Bala. You see the currents of water, the stream. You see the Aurora Borealis above you and the twinkling starlight. And then this Pegasus takes to the air and you fly up, up high into the sky, into the Aurora Borealis. You spread your arms wide and you just fully open heart, mind, body, and soul to this experience of pure bliss and enchantment, knowing that this experience of magic, this is the truth. This is the truth of who you are. This is the truth that you knew as a child. This is the truth that your soul has been asking you to open fully heart, mind, body, and soul to. Let go of everything that holds you back. Let go of everything that says you cannot soar, you cannot fly. As you move through the air with this mighty Pegasus, this mighty Pegasus with the golden white unicorn horn, just know that here up in the sky, as you fly through the clouds, you are in the land of dreams, the land of dreams, the land of visions, the land of infinite possibility. And maybe there are visions that come through 
Maybe now that you're flying this high in the sky, maybe there are new things that you imagine for yourself that you see for your life. Just continue to fly through the sky, opening your heart more and more with every breath. And you see these beautiful Pegasus wings, feathered, feathered Pegasus wings. And you fly through the sky until you see Lake Bala down before you. And there, hundreds of feet below, you see that beautiful cauldron and the figure of Caribbean with her long, dark cloak and that beautiful black hood. And there she is. And you take a moment, even though you're far away, you know that this is what she wanted for you. When she gave you that vision of excellence, this is what she wanted. She wanted you to soar, for you to fly into the clouds fully knowing all that is possible for you. As you take a few moments up here high in the sky, flying around the Aurora Borealis, flying around the stars, the clouds, the Pegasus flies down again, back to Lake Bala, and you land in the water right beside Caridwin who takes your hand once more. She clasps your hand the way a grandmother would take it. It's both sturdy, and yet there's something so delicate and tender about it. And as she sees you there, she raises her hands in prayer, and then out, and then out once more as if she were uttering a magic spell. And here in this moment, receive one final blessing from Caridwin. One final blessing to light your way. You can see golden light, or maybe it's purple or blue light, blue mist, blue magic pouring from her hands. Whatever color comes from her hands is perfect. These are the frequencies, these are the coatings that you need. And we're just really calling in a high level blessing from the great goddess Caridwin specific to you, whatever you need, whatever your soul is calling for in this moment, bringing that through now. Caridwin moves her hands together and blows, blowing the last of the magic from her hands onto you. She takes a moment to bow down to you, a very gentle, delicate bow. And in this moment, if it feels right, do the same. A moment of reverence, deep love, soul, soul joy for this great beautiful moment that you've had with the goddess of inspiration and enchantment here in the space. You hear the Pegasus whinnying right beside you. You take a moment to just pet the back of this beautiful creature. And now I invite you to just take a final look around at this place and also see before you go, is there anything that the Pegasus has to share with you? Really feel its energy here, feel its beautiful, magical heart and soul, so full of love for you, so happy to be with you in this magical space. Beautiful. Just open to see if there's any more messages that want to come through from either Caridwin or this beautiful Pegasus. Beautiful. Now take a moment to thank each of them for being your guide today. Take one last look at Lake Bala. And when you're ready, feel yourself transformed. And feel yourself transformed and transported once more through time and space. And return to the room from which you began today's magical journey. And you might want to rub your hands together or move your feet against the floor, but really just come back. Come back into this now moment. Come back into the sacred space and really just take a moment to cast that intention 
of bringing magical transformation and enchantment to the world around you and to really just being being open being open to be a vessel for enchantment more in your everyday life and uh, I just, I know that God has cared when just really wanted me to bring that through for you. And I hope that you've had a magical time here with the goddess. And I hope that you've just, you know, just like dance in these frequencies. And I just, I'm just sending you so much love. I'm wondering if there's any more uh, that she wants me to share with you. I think yes yes uh so that what i'm hearing is the word laugh i you know she wants me to remind you to laugh and so part of the enchantment part of the awe and the wonder is like the primal you know the the innate joy of life and so think about the medicine of laughter and so there's something about you know when you when you come into like a moment of laughter there is this beautiful moment somewhere in the activation where carried when I remember like I really came through this cackle but it was a cackle of just pure joy and I really feel like there's it's like that kind of witch's cackle but it's and I think that you know there have been movies and books and they've distorted the cackle but really the cackle is just like this pure joy it's like the pure joy of 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 the of a magical soul um and so I just really feel like it's that reminder to come into that cackle to come into that laughter. And actually I think here we're going to do, I guess I, one final um, kind of little, little bit of a trans transmission from Caridwin for the energy of this magical cackle. So I'm just really, you know, calling that into the sacred space. And I know my hands are up. You can just see um, beautiful swirling light, whatever color comes to mind, whatever color you see in your mind's eye, pouring from my hands to your throat chakra. And this is I'm really seeing it as blue. I'm really seeing it as this like deep midnight blue and just really see this swirling from my hands to your throat chakra. And this is the energy of the cackle. I'm really hearing this as the witch's cackle, but this is really uh, the, the laughter of the, it's like the, the enchantress, the laughter of the enchantress and this really is, this really is just like when we laugh, we savor, we savor what it is to be alive. And so she really invites you to open, to open to that sound, that sound of pure joy, that sound of your own laugh. And to just actually take a moment and think about, you know, that I feel like each of us has, uh, each of us kind of has like the way, you know, when, when we laugh, there's, it's almost like there's like a musical quality to it because no, no person really laughs the same as anyone else. It always sounds really unique and individual. So what I'm getting, because Caridwin is a mistress of song, she's mistress of, of magical transformation and, you know, divine inspiration. And so she's, really inviting you to see your laughter as a sacred song, your specific laugh, however you laugh, like just to see your laughter as a song of the divine. And that's really, I think, her invitation to you because Caridwin is mother of the bards, mother of the bards. And so really, when we look at uh, you know, when, when I work with the bards uh, and I really work with like, these are, you know, the ancient Welsh storytellers, you know, today we, we read novels and, you know, we watch movies, but back in the, the ancient days, like, you know, when the bard came to your village, everyone, you know, everyone ran to the village square because the bard was going to tell stories. And so, you know, that was the whole thing is so the bard would tell tales, but they would also sing songs and, you know, recite poetry from memory. And so really for, for Caridwin, Caridwin is mother of bards. And so this, you know, I said like this kind of idea of your laugh, your laugh is a sacred song that would be so sacred to Caridwin. And really the message that I'm getting from her is that you are so sacred to her. Your laughter is a sacred song, that a song that is so dear and so sacred to her. And to just really honor, to just really honor the sacredness, the beauty of who you are. 
and to just fully open your heart every day to the magic that is within you and all around you. I think that's it for today, but I'm sending you so much love.